Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna be welcoming Kevin Walker from ABB to the set, talking about applying wireless sensors to Dodge gear reducers. Kevin, great to have you, man. How you doing? Hello, Tom, thanks for having me. So Kevin, what's so important about utilizing these wireless sensors? Applying wireless sensors provides operational excellence and increased safety for our customers. We've made it so the ABB Ability Smart Sensor it's now available for Dodge gear reducers as well as mounted bearings. We will be showing the mounting of a sensor and live readings of the sensor in today's episode. I mean, that sounds great, but can you provide some background for everybody on this? Well, enclosed gearing is a commonly applied product. Our portfolio of Dodge gear reducers offers a design that meets the needs of all of our customers in the many industries we serve. But like all products, regardless of brand, these reducers need normal, preventive maintenance, and not just a visual inspection to make sure that they're running properly. Excellent. Now, we've talked before about the value of adding sensors to Dodge mounted bearings. So how is the sensor applied differently to the Dodge gear reducers? Good question. The durable Dodge gear reducers our customers expect can now be enhanced by including an ABB smart sensor. The ABB Ability smart sensor for mechanical products connects a customer to the health of his equipment, making it safe for him to easily monitor his enclosed gearing products. For ease of installation, our standard Dodge gear reducers have redesigned the oil plug. It is now a blind plug that is threaded and tapped to accept an ABB Ability Smart Sensor. Okay, so how would I actually put this in, Kevin? Right, so that red plastic plug, that's just easily removed. Okay. And then the sensor just screws into the drilled and tapped hole that's designed to accept it. Okay. It's very simple. Well, tell me more about the sensor and how does it actually help the customer? The sensor provides wireless measurement of vibration and temperature. These two parameters are key indicators of a reducer's health. This data is then sent to the app where a maintenance person views it either on an iOS device or Android-based phones or tablets. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, what does the team actually do with that operational data that's sent to the app? Good question. ABB provides trending data for temperature and vibration that allows a baseline for normal operating condition to be established. Then, the current operating condition is compared with that baseline to indicate health. Additionally, the ABB Ability powertrain allows like assets or similar assets in similar applications to be compared with each other over a set period of time. Hmm. Baseline and like asset comparison provide a very accurate depiction of the overall health of a specific asset within a powertrain. And this allows a maintenance manager to identify which of his reducers may not be operating correctly or safely. So the data provided by the app and sensor, that's really the true benefit behind this product, correct? Right, if the reducer is operating within a normal condition, no maintenance is needed. That means your maintenance team is not arbitrarily doing maintenance. Also, knowing when that reducer does need maintenance before a failure occurs, that can prevent unplanned downtime. Interesting, but with reducers and bearings being spread across a work environment, what's the actual sensor's distance capability? We get this question all the time. The type of Bluetooth signal that we use provides a much greater range than something like your consumer headphones. We have commonly measured range with a phone and our sensor of up to 50 feet. Okay, uh, with that in mind, I see now the reducer's heating up, right. so action needs to be taken, right? That is correct. Based on the readings, some action should be taken by maintenance personnel. Okay. If this were deemed an out-of-tolerance signal for vibration, the maintenance manager might begin to source a replacement reducer and then schedule swapping those reducers at a more convenient time. Yeah, it's always better to swap out at your convenience rather than when it fails because downtime can be very expensive. Um, now, I see where this helps our customer to identify the proper maintenance needed and when, but how do you handle products that are farther than 25 to 50 feet away? Great question. Right behind you, we have a gateway connection available for remote accessibility that receives that Bluetooth signal from the sensor in the reducer. This data is then automatically uploaded to the ABB Ability Cloud via the gateway. Any user with access rights within that organization can then view that data anywhere that they have access to the internet. So the data can be accessed locally by phone app or data can be transmitted by gateway, cloud location, then customer brings it down, right? Right, ABB has a portal that displays operational information in very easy to interpret graphs 
and a traffic light system. This gives a quick indication of the overall health of the equipment. Now, early on in our video, Kevin, you mentioned the word safety. You know me in PPE. I mean, we have right. our glasses on the table right there. And you should always wear the proper PPE, of course, for whatever the job calls for. But how does safety right. fit into the sensor application? Safety is a critical issue. By having the ability to monitor equipment remotely, a maintenance team is no longer having to access equipment in hard to reach locations. No more climbing ladders, no more walking through tightly compacted machinery just to check to see if a piece of equipment needs maintenance. With the sensor, you can monitor your equipment from a remote distance. Fewer trips, fewer climbs, the ability to download operating characteristics remotely, that is much safer for maintenance personnel. Okay, so in summary, as part of the ABB platform, the ABB smart sensor can now be used on Dodge gear reducers to help prevent downtime, as well as safety hazards for maintenance personnel. Now, those are very, very important things, two very important things. Thanks so much for sharing this with us. Exactly, Tom. We are really proud of the benefits this product can offer. We think with increased safety and operational excellence, it's an excellent choice for our customers. Thank you for having me. You got it. That was Kevin Walker with ABB. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, just contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. Uh, as you saw, we talked about safety right at the end there. We had our glasses on the table. Uh, PPE is so important. Remember, make that priority one, whatever the job calls for. Priority two is heading to the website, mihowto.com, and checking out more great videos just like this one with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks for watching.